Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing another tech suit tier list and more specifically one for those that swim middle distance races. I'm going to base everything on something I would want to wear for a 200 individual medley and 200 form strokes of any kind. And of course these suits will be able to swim down into a 100 meter event and in the same vein go up to a 400 free or 400 IM. But the 200 IM and the 200 form strokes are the focus and I think a suit that is good for 200 IM is it going to be generally pretty damn good for every event in the book and that's why I'm making this video. As much as this is the middle distance tech suit tier list it could almost be seen as an overall tech suit tier list and one that if you are just an age group swimmer who still races every event in the arsenal as you should any of these suits will be very much suitable for you and you will have great results with them. I'm going to rank them based on overall performance, but also I'm going to factor in the value prospect as well, because I think that's really important. As with all things tech suit related, don't forget training hard is important, and that should be your priority. Working hard will see better and quicker gains in your performance than buying a new tech suit or spending all your money. Of course, if you are going to buy a tech suit, I really would appreciate if you use my Swim Outlet affiliate link, which I've put in the comments, the description, and somewhere on this screen, because the more I put the link, the more chance you've got of using it, right? Maybe not. It doesn't really matter, but if you are going to buy a tech suit, then please do use Swim Outlet. Not only is Swim Outlet awesome and have a great range of tech suits, pretty much everything on this list, uh, except the Japanese exclusive suits like the Arena Aquaforce, but they also ship worldwide, and if you need to change sides or you have any problems, like a split suit on, a, on, on first wear, they will replace it instantly and make sure you don't go a weekend at a competition without a suit to swim fast in. I also should note that I have a load of merch just released on my website, most notably these awesome caps that come in blue and white with my logo on one side and the text on the other side. Got a blue one here as well, so you can choose what you prefer. And also this t-shirt is going to go live on my website in the next few days. I'll show it off properly when it launches because it's got an awesome graphic on the back. These shirts are epic, I really love them. And as with Swim Outlet, these things ship worldwide at a fee and they ship for free in the UK. These caps are £7.50. So go on, grab one now. You're not only gonna get an awesome hat to train in, but you're gonna support me as well so that I can keep making epic videos for you guys. All right, let's dive into the video. All right, here we go. Today I've been a little bit more creative with the names of each tier. And down the bottom we have garbage. Just above that we have touch your toes. Well, they're the suits that probably are worn by the kind of guys that spend the whole session touching your toes. The middle tier is kind of like that no reason to buy. They're probably solid suits, but there's better suits at better value. Then you've got the lane leaders. And then at the top, you have the Leon Marchand of suits. The suits that are super versatile. Leon Marchand can do it all. 53, 500 free, 4 IM, 2 IM, 100 back, 2 fly. And, and you know, that's kind of it. The uh, the best of the best, the creme de la creme. And I, I wouldn't actually put this suit in the Leon Marchand uh, tier of suits. But I kind of have to because it's the suit that he wears. And I'm talking about the Speedo Farskin Pure Valor, which I'm actually struggling to find down here. There it is. This is the suit that Leon races in. So who am I not to put it in the top tier of suits? Because, I mean, if Leon wears it, it's probably pretty good. But this suit is kind of that middle distance versatile king, you know. I would recommend this probably as an actual top tier suit for distance swimmers. But Jordan Crooks won it to win the 50 freestyle at the World Championships. It's a comfy suit. No one's going to find this uncomfy. It comes in standard and a high waist fit, which is just brilliant. And yeah, it's a jack of all trades. It's papery. It's water repellent. It kind of does it all. And um, Leon Marchand wears it, which just puts it up in the top tier. Let's work backwards from the list for once. So we have the Arena Aquaforce Motion 3. I've not actually worn this suit, but my good friend Adam Chillingworth has. He's told me about it. He really likes it. Dyer wears it. And everything, you know, Siobhan Jorge wears the uh, the woman's version of this. And everything about this seems to be a, a top tier suit. 
And for that reason, even though it's a suit I've not tried, I think this is one that I've I've held it in my hands. I've just not worn it, but it seems to tickle the boxes. And Adam, who has very similar suit tastes to me, we're both Mizuno fanboys. He loves this suit and actually started wearing it this year because uh, he now represents Hong Kong and he can get a hold of these suits much easier than we can in the Western world. And I'm going to put this... I'm not actually going to... I've not worn it. It's not even out yet. It's the Speedo Faskin Laser Ignite. But I do have some insight to it. And I kind of just wanted to tell people about it because I can. Because I accidentally put it up on some stores this week. And I Googled it and just so happened to find a picture of it. Here it is. The Speedo Laser Ignite. And it's a new suit. It's meant to be... Uh, cheaper so i think it's going to be about 120 pounds in the uk and it's got a mix of bonded and stitched seams beyond that it looks very much like the valor which it kind of is such a good value proposition and the other reason i'm quite happy putting the valor up in the top tier is you can get the valor at about you know 90 quid in the uk now high wasted so why on earth would you get the new 120 pounds ignite if it's more expensive than the valor is now so yeah no reason to buy the ignite but you know New suit. Wanted to talk about it. Who knows? Might actually be a good. And another new suit, and actually one I've tried. I've got it right here. There it is. The new Finney's Hydro X with memory flex material. There will be a full review of this, so subscribe if you want to see the full review. But this is like, it does something that I really want more suits to do, and that's like combine great things about sprint suits with great things about distance suits, which would then make it a great middle distance suit. Um, and for that reason, I would say it's a good suit, but it just holds water so much. And you have to really size down in this suit to get a good fit. Uh, I'll go into more on the ins and outs of that on the review. But I think it's like, uh, it would be a lane leader, but it's just so overpriced. It kind of leaves it with no reason to buy, you know, it's four times the price of like a Valor in the UK. So like, what are you doing? Um, and then garbage, the Q Swimwear Q Glide. I still just like putting that in garbage. And we keep putting that in tier lists just to put it down the bottom tier. And uh, then we have the Nabaji suit, Decathlon's home brand. And actually, this is kind of very similar to the Finney's. It's not quite as good, um, but it's similar material, similar taping. It's not quite as good, but there's just no reason to buy it, unfortunately, for it. And then we get to the Finney's Fuse. A really good budget suit. Price, it could even go into lane leaders, but there's still no reason to buy it because of how well the Valor's priced these days. Um, yeah, it's good value. I like the Finney Fuse for value. This is garbage. The Aquaville Oxygen. What a trash suit. Uh, hammerhead. Just, just, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> such a weird suit. The ASIC suit. Nothing on paper is good about it, but it actually, like, surprisingly does all right <laughs> but still yeah aqua rapid aq race you know it's more of a sprint suit and it just doesn't make sense in here laser racer x god adidas 18 i think that one's called yeah the adidas 18 another touch touch i'm just not going to go into these they're just bad suits and they're not even in the no reason to buy it here uh, Akron, it's just no reason to buy. It's a little better than these guys, but oh god, the Phelps. Apparently, Phelps is no longer a thing, so that's great news because this suit is garbage. Yep, it's going there. Engine, again, very similar to Finis, same factory, not quite as good material, a little bit thicker. It's kind of no reason to buy it. All right, finally, we're getting into the better end. And we have the Tier Venzo Oblivion. Uh, Tier Venzo Phantom Oblivion. It's the Venzo Phantom, the Oblivion is the colorway, sorry. The Phantom is the, the variation. And it's like the less compression version of the Venzo. And that makes it more of a Leon Marchand suit. With the standard Venzo being in the lane leader. You know, for sprint, I'd say Venzo. And then Ven not, the Venzo Phantom, Phantom is not as good. But we're obviously in the flip uh, for the, uh, the middle distance. And the Shockwave, I kind of don't mind it for middle distance because uh, it's got that more flexibility. It's still like, I'd say it's like a 100-200 suit. So, yeah, it still works here. Um don't know what I would prefer. I would probably, I'd probably go for it over the Venzo, you know. And 
the tier of Victor, I'd stick in the middle. Like tier, tier are just like okay suits. Like they they're just not better than their competition anyway. And I think the uh, a Victor comes in a two point oh now, which I won't have tried. Uh, the rival two is not as good as the new suit. Well, it's as good, but same sort of concept. It's just slightly better value because you can get it cheaper. Mm. You can get it cheaper. Probably put it ahead then. Pure intent. Mm. Not for these events, unfortunately. Carbon Air Squared. What a beautiful suit. I love this suit. And personally, if it come in high-waisted and was the same price as Pure Valor, I'd put it ahead but it doesn't come in high waist and it still goes for slightly more so i'm going to put it behind the pure valor but i i, I in a standard cut performance alone i would go air squared over valor i love the air squared look at that white new coral colorway i love it carbon glide i just don't like it as much as the air squared and some people would shoot me for not put it in the leon marchand suits i know craig or loves it and a few other guys love it nah, let's put it here Carbon Core FX. There's just no reason to buy it for sprint for not sprints. Uh, same for Carbon Pro. All right, and we're churning through. Um, I feel like these videos can be a bit long, so I'm trying to be quicker today. But on to Mizuno. Mizuno AG. There's just no reason to buy it. Like this is what they're looking for with this suit, but I just. Don't like this suit as much as other Mizunos. I, Mizuno are what Mizuno are, and they shouldn't try and make a more flexible suit. So there we go. No reason to buy it still, I don't think, unfortunately. SL, happily, um, top tier suits. This is like Mizuno's middle distance suit, and it is epic. And if there wasn't the 3MR in this world, which is the best suit of all time for 200 IM and middle distance swimming, I think the SL is the next best thing from Mizuno. It's a little less compression, which makes it a little bit more versatile. Maybe this actually shouldn't be in here because you can't even buy it anymore, but it is. It's still the goat of suits. Anyone who races 200 IM and has worn a Mizuno 3MR will tell you that's the case. Um, the 5ST, I mean, there's just no reason to buy it for middle distance. The same goes to the 3ST. There's just no reason to buy it for middle distance. Uh, which one's the 5ST? That's the 4ST. So again, no reason to buy it. And then 4MR can go here. And 5MR can go here. So yeah, there's my tier list. Just to clarify, you can go and use my Swim Outlet affiliate link to buy the 5SL, the Pure Valor, the Air Squared, the Venzo Phantom, the 5MR, the Carbon Glide, the 4MR. No, you can't get the 4MR anymore. The Shockwave, the Evicta, the Venzo, the AG, the 5ST, the Core FX, the Finney suits. They'll sell the Speedo Ignite when it comes out. They don't have the Bargy suits because only the Bargy do. I think they have the Finney suit. They have the Pure Intent. And that's it. But every suit in the top Leon Marchand tier you can get from Swim Outlet with the exception of that Arena Japan which you have to literally go to Japan to get. It's damn hard which is why I still not tried one. Um, and it probably has the least right to be in that top tier because I've not even tried it. But everything else you can get from Swim Outlet please do and you're obviously supporting me because I am getting an affiliate bonus from that. But yeah I think this is probably my most balanced tier list ever because it's not just Mizuno sort of dominated and you know if you get the Pure Valor for 90 quid well and Leon Marchand wears it and you get it for under 100 quid I would recommend you just get a load of them they'll you know all season wear that and when you get to the big race that you can source out a 3MR or a Neo SL that's when you're gonna have a great time um, Air Square if you get a good deal on them they're just great suits 5MR, I just think it's still like more of a 100-200 suit, the same as the tier Shockwave. And actually the SL is probably going to be more your 200-400 suit, which is why I put the 5MR down a little bit lower. And it's, it's still, you know, you have to love a Mizuno suit, whereas no one would not like, you know, the Valor, the Air Squared, even the Venzo Phantom. It's, you know, a little bit more compression, but nowhere near as much as the original Venzo. Anything in this no reason to buy... Tier. They might be great suits, but there's just no point getting them because you can get something that's as good cheaper above or you can get something that is more relevant to middle distance swims. The touch of toe stuff is just downright bad for middle distance. So, you know, you just shouldn't buy them suits if you're racing middle distance events mainly. Um, and then the bottom line is... No. <laughs>
garbage, whatever. But uh, anything in that top tier, especially age group swimmers where you're just racing everything, they are gonna do you a world of good. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe. If you wanna support me, use the affiliate links to buy a tech suit and also check out my website, www.thesimsuitguy.co.uk to get my merch. These lovely silicone caps and this new t-shirt coming soon. As always, I'll see you on the next one.